I guess first to start off with, I mean, obviously the first quarter you didn't get a field goal, and um, you know, and the you were down, you only had 18 points going to the fourth quarter. What what changed? Uh, well, we at the halftime we talked about the fact that it's a 32 minute game, and as badly as we felt like we were playing, as as bad as that first half felt, we were only down 15, so it's not like we, it was out of reach. Uh, we talked about getting it to single digits going into the fourth quarter. Uh, it's been a mantra of ours all year that we're going to try to win the third quarter. Well, this time we had to maybe win it by a little bit more than just a point. You know, so we try to get it to single digits. Uh, and we talked about, you know, let's, let's put the press on. We might as well. we got nothing to lose at this point. Um, you know, the, the, the message is that, you know, we can't really match their size. They're just too big for us near the basket. Uh, so we got to make up the difference in heart. And so we put the press on, and with their big people on the floor, that made the, the you know the press a little bit more effective. Basically, they have two guards, and we had three players on two guards, so it, it just got the ball in the wrong players' hands. Um, I think what helped us down the stretch was they missed some big free throws, which kept us you know within reach. And then we hit two <coughs> massive threes, you know, and then Bra um, Avery finished it up with that last basket. But uh, just a great heart heart check game for us. Yeah. I mean, unbelievable. We got some good mojo working for us down here. <laughs> you sure you know? Yeah, what is it about this floor, Coach? It's uh, just uh, unbelievable. You know, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have believed that this, the same team that played in the first half had played the other la last two games because we just looked like we were – everything was clicking, mm -hmm. you know. And I credit that to GSA. I mean, Dwayne's a great coach, and GSA is a great program, and they really made us look bad early in the, in, in the game, the whole first half, really. Uh, and that's that's on, that's a credit to them. Their defense was that strong. Uh, but you know our kids just hung in there, hung it, you know, hung tough, hung tough, and then try to give yourself a chance to win at the end, and had just enough just enough ticks on the clock to get it done. Yeah, and you talk about how, and you know, I think you know, it looked like these kids, no matter what the score was, they felt they they're going to win. They, you know, and then part of it, you know, as we talked about before, they were here two years ago, they won in football. A lot of that, a lot of. To that, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's the same kids. It's a lot of the same kids, and uh, yeah, they, they believe that there's always a chance. You know that kind of a thing. You know, when you have an adverse situation in the game, uh, it's easy for teams to come apart. You know, but that's not what this group does. This group circles the wagons, gets closer, pulls it in together, supports each other, and then just try to battle through it. And we we were prepared. We're going to leave it all on the court. You know? And luckily for us, we had just enough ticks on the clock to get the job done. So yeah, and. Um, the, the defense by Bryce and um, late in the game. I mean, he, I think he got three steals just in the fourth quarter, and, and a big part of that press, huh? Well, I mean, he just. Uh, I mean, the, he is hot from head to toe. I mean, I, I, I've never seen a kid like him. I mean, he's another kid, a good example in football. I mean, he's playing linebacker in football, and he's, you know, he's 130 pounds soaking wet. You know, what I mean, out here on a basketball court, I mean, there's four or five guys. He's the shortest guy out there. You know, but he's as tough as anybody on that court. Uh, and there's, you know, he'd run through a wall if he thought it was going to help us try to win a ball game. So, uh, like, you know, everybody wants to glorify the points and the and the stat, the big stats, but he does all of the intangibles that really contribute to winning basketball games. So, a lot of credit goes to him. And, and you mentioned Avery, but Seth and Avery hit the big shots. They're focused on Will, obviously, like like most teams. And and you know, those two just came up huge. Huh? Well, they they played huge in the in the quarterfinal and the semifinal. Those two, the seniors, have been just so massive for us. And then today they were struggling awful. And Avery got in foul trouble because he's in there trying to battle with those bigs, you know. Uh, but he came up big at the end. So, and same thing with Seth. Seth hit that big three. Uh, Avery finished with that last basket, you know. So, I, I'm happy for the seniors. They really have played great for us, and uh, they deserve to have a, a moment like this. And, and Will didn't have his best game, but but he came through when it mattered and made some big plays down the stretch. Well, and that's the way he is. I mean, he's even keeled. He's not going to lose his cool, and he understands that he's the focus of the other teams. What their what their defensive schemes are. Uh, he just kind of tried to stay in his game and. He'd be the first to tell you he didn't play particularly strong here tonight, but like you say, I mean, when it mattered, he he was right there, right in the thick of it. So uh, he's our guy. I mean, so we're gonna live and die with him. And but uh, well, we got a nice group. It's a nice group. Um. Lastly, uh, you know, two years ago, you you uh, I mean, you're obviously gonna be motivated anyway for the state championship. But you know, you lost down there. Obviously, a different opponent. But you know, think the kids that were on that team kind of got you know remember that. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, Avery and Seth were both on that team, and uh, Will, you know, saw the floor a lot in that game. A uh, year ago, we saw this summer, uh, we, we play in a tournament down in Winthrop in the summer every summer, and, they, and uh, they were there, and they're very good, very good. They got a very talented team, a lot of players that can do a lot of things. They've got a, a centerpiece player that's really a strong player. So we, we're going to have our work cut out for us, and more or less playing on their gym, you know, on their home court. So. 
Uh, but, you know, you can't win it unless you're in it, you know, so that's going to be our, our uh, idea. Just try to get ready for it when we get down there, and then I will give it our best shot and see what happens. All right, thank you. No.